Hi, my name is Ile at ProDesign and today we're going to show you how to create a totem statue Photoshop tutorial. Uh, it's going to be easy tutorial. Uh, this is uh, the final result, something that you should get at the end. Uh, you can see the inspiration comes from the Northern American tribes and uh, also the inspiration comes from a game called World of Warcraft. They use the same inspiration to create statues for their video game. This kind of statues can be found in particular part of the video game. Uh, for all your fans, so you probably would know. But anyway, uh, this is something that you should get, so uh, let's get started. So the first thing you have to do is uh, create uh, a new document. I created mine at uh, 1,600 uh, 1, pixels uh, in uh, width and uh, 2,000 pixels in height. And the first thing I usually do is uh, create a couple of sketches, you know, but because of the sake of time, we don't have uh, we don't have uh, at disposal too much time to show how the initial drawing is going to be. So uh, I uh, draw a couple of sketches, make a couple of designs, and later on, you know, just uh, pick the one that I want to choose and uh, start enhancing it in the process. And for this, uh, you know, totem tutorial, we're going to use um, I've created a simple shape, something like this. And uh, this is probably what we're gonna need in the whole process. Okay, so first thing you have to do is um, you have to find uh, three textures, uh, textures, uh, the one that you like. Uh, I found mine uh, at uh, internet. Uh, the one has to be a wooden texture. The other one has to be a metal texture and a stone or a rock texture. So this, these are the three. It's it's a personal choice. Whatever you find, uh, you know, just the ones that you like. Just it, one has to be wooden, one has to be metal, and one has to be a uh, stone texture. And uh, so in the first process, what we do is we place texture. I pick this one and. Uh, just rotate it, place it in play. Just rename it as wood and rasterize it because we cannot edit it. So just I lower usually the opacity and once again press Control T to activate the transformation tool and just you know just scale it. Okay, place it. Now, what you have to do is pick the P key on your keyboard and it will activate this one, the, P, uh, the pen tool. And control plus, zoom in and start drawing a couple of shapes. What we, why we do this is because uh, we need to you know, just cut the extra stuff that we don't need. Uh, I encourage you to either use this method that I'm gonna show you, or you can use even uh, the eraser tool. That doesn't matter. And don't be too picky, you know, just uh, t to make it, uh, you know, too, too, sh too good or, you know, just to every pixel down. Don't worry, just, just be quick don't spend too much time I usually don't spend too much time in this process try to get it as fast as I can so later on I will have time to you know do a more fun stuff a creative process or whatever oops As I, s oh, a mistake. As I said before, you know, just don't be too picky. Don't worry too much. At the end, <coughs> at the end, I'm sorry about that. I got a cold or something. Okay. So once you have uh, created the shape, go to paths and load it as a selection. Just click the delete key 
and uh, that's it. If you notice that the inside of uh, your texture is deleted and the outside is not, all you have to do is reverse the process, control Z, go one step back, and with the selection still selected, press control shift I to invert the selection and uh, then press delete the delete key and that and uh, you will delete the right uh, part of the sec of uh, the texture so press ctrl d to deselect zoom out go to layers again and reverse the opacity to 100% so this is what we get you can as i said uh, you can use you know here we have uh, a little bit uh, cut out but that's not a problem just go to the drawing and erase it as I said don't worry too much so this is uh, what I have done I have set uh, the drawing uh, outlines on the top I have created uh, the the rock texture that I needed cut it the parts that I didn't and also here the metal part so this is uh, what you should have wood metal and uh, stone after that is done we have we can start the process of enhancing so we have drawing wood metal and rock okay so first thing I usually do is uh, select the wood uh, layer uh, press the O key to activate the dodge and uh, start dodging and burning I just need to burn a little bit of it if you don't feel comfortable using this tool don't you can use uh, uh, you know there are other tools that we can use later on we can show you that in a moment okay go to the metal part again and to the rock formation Okay. So first thing I usually do, press the pen tool again and start drawing a shape. And another one. Start drawing some shapes around eyes. <coughs> Create a new layer and name it whatever you like I name it shadow or something doesn't matter load it as a selection and activate the gradient and activate black to transparent okay so you can see you start you simply with a couple of clicks start shaping the eyes and we do the same thing for the mouth because that's gonna be on the inside of the mouth you have to pay attention that it's uh, it's there gonna be some darkness inside maybe a little bit more okay So <coughs> we can add a little bit of darkness in here too. Oops. Press the A key to activate direct selection tool and make a couple of changes something like this load it as a selection some gradient or maybe even more okay so 
So repeat the same process at the other side. Activate the P key on your keyboard and that will activate the pen tool. Oops. And start drawing some shapes. So, you know, I usually know where my shadow is gonna be and that's why I go directly drawing the shape but you know you can experiment if you're not sure just try a couple of steps and you will see that it's not gonna be a problem okay pick the gradient tool and load the selection okay so you can you know you just we can do the same stuff in here Again, so this this whole process is uh, just uh, picking uh, the, the pen tool, drawing shapes, load them as selections, and uh, filling them, filling them out. Just just pay attention that uh, you have this layer selected because if you draw these shapes on another layer that uh, you know you cannot undo them you know so, so it's better to have them on a separate layer because you know later on we can change you know something to multiply you know make a couple of changes see how the result is gonna be and something like that okay let's reverse it back to normal. I use another method, method, but uh, in, I'm not sure how many users can um, can use this method because it involves more drawing than uh, than shaping. You know, it's. I think it's better this way. I think it's much more better. Okay, and. Uh, Let's do a couple more steps. Okay. Load the selection. Press the G key to activate the gradient and just do a couple of drawings to match a shape that you like. And on the other side, press the P key on your keyboard again, uh, activate the pen. Oops, here we have to make a couple of changes. Okay. Loaded this selection, press the G key to activate the gradient tool and fill it in. So this is how the shape should look like. Now you can see like in here you have uh, some kind of a lines here in the texture. You know, just uh, they pop out and something like that. So the best way uh, to enhance this is to dodge and burn a little bit, to make them look better. I mean, to make them pop more. So what, what I usually do, activate the dodge and burn tool. And uh, I start, oops, we cannot burn because uh, we're not on the right layer. So from path to layer, make sure that now your wood layer is selected. Press the O key to
to activate the dodge and burn tool and start dodging a little bit dodging and burning this some kind of, somehow will enhance you know it will make it will make the statue pop more because that's how the eye is tricked it sees that darker and lighter areas and it uh, makes an estimation it that it looks like the one is in front and the other one is in the back Try something like in here too. Oops. No, something like this. And you will see the results. What you should get. But it, it will look nicer, definitely. Better than the ones that we had before. Okay. So now what you have to do is just add a little bit of highlights. Like in this in here in this area. And you can see some of the areas will start to pop. Darken. Lighter. And um, lighter in here, darken here. In here, in lighter also. That's that's why I use usually the dodge and burn tool. It makes the the structure pop a little bit. But what we forgot to do <coughs> is to enhance the process a little bit more. Is uh, I go to shadows layer once again, and again press the P key to activate the P tool, uh, the pen tool, and. Uh, draw a couple of shapes beneath the eyes and you will see what we should get in a couple of moments okay delete this one all shape and redo it again Something. Okay. Now go load them as selections and as again press the G key to activate the gradient and uh, load the gradient. We can even load it once again. that on the mouth shape load it as a selection press the G key to activate the gradient to and load and load the gradient okay and this is how it looks like now pick uh, the eraser brush the eraser tool load the opacity a little bit and just uh, 
just try to erase a couple of parts a little bit not too much oops okay and that's good now to make it more pop go to layers again select the wood and go to dodge and burn by pressing the O key on your keyboard and just dodge it and you will see how how it will pop fast and in here you can add a little bit more on certain areas then okay and this is how it looks like it gives more more it gives a better result it looks like more organic shape maybe a little bit more dodging and burning but that's that's probably it okay so what we do now repeat the same process in uh, this part so we move back to the metal layer and activate the dodge and burn tool and dodge a little bit more okay now press the P or you know you, you can even do use uh, the dodge and burn tool in here to darken this area to show that uh, there's some uh, uh, you know some uh, shadow but you know it's or you can use this process it, it's it's the same so don't worry about it whatever you, it's comfortable for you use that method it's it's gonna be better much more much much better for you because you won't uh, have to hesitate what you should do okay trying to add a little bit certain areas that I want to add some shadow oops just a little bit okay so now what I what I usually do now is want to add a couple of design in here some metal so this is what I do you can do it on a separate layer whatever you like metal element so this is what I do you know ecliptic marquee tool and uh, by holding alt and shift and dragging you will get uh, a circular shape but it will start creating from the center and that's important for me and uh, you know I just pick some kind of uh, color and alt delete to fill you know the selection and now I press uh, the opacity uh, the um, dodge and burn tool and uh, start dodging and burning so once again uh, or you can you you know go to transform selection now and just uh, make it smaller again with the same color after a, wait maybe maybe a little bit more I know, this is better so after you apply the transformation alt delete to fill the selection again and uh, you know you use uh, again the dodge and burn tool but now you dodge on the bottom 
burn on the top. Again, filter uh, select, transform selection, make it smaller. And uh, apply the transformation, fill the shape, dodge and burn, bottom, top. You know, you can you can find uh, this uh, a useful tutorial about how to create this kind of a button shapes uh, in uh, another tutorial on Protus, and I recommend checking it out. And transform, or maybe maybe even not. That's probably that's probably enough. Okay, so once again, I draw a shape. Okay, and uh, you know, make sure that this part of the selection is active. Like now, you can see on the edges, when you see this dotted lines show, that means that this part of the selection is active where you can use whatever you like if it's opposite you can use in in this uh, in the inside of the circle so with the dodge and burn still selected let's do some dodging and burning Okay, and uh, something like this. Okay, that's that's probably enough. So add a layer style, a drop shadow. Make the angle at 90 degrees. Distance to 13. That's no. 75 is probably good. And uh, you know, you said the distance. You know, even 15 is not too bad. 15 and size to 5, angle to 90, it said blend mode to multiply on opacity to 75% and click OK. Now, Control T to activate transformation and make it smaller. Again, Control T to make it even smaller. That's probably good enough. Okay. But you know, it's it's not fitting right. Why? Because it's uh, this uh, metal is too dark and this is too bright. It looks like they're like two worlds apart and they should be something like the same material use. So what I usually do, simple and once again, uh, activate the burn tool and burn it a little bit you can see it made it darker and now it fits perfectly but you know it's I see the drop shadow is probably too much let's go to 10 Let's see five. Let's see seven. Seven is probably good enough. Oops, I'm sorry about that. Just control Z. If you do something like me stupid, just control Z to undo it. So what you do now is select the metal element and duplicate the layer. 
press the V key on your keyboard and move the element a little bit to the right again duplicate and move this one to the right too and if you feel comfortable just uh, select both three layers and merge layers so now what you have to do is um, let me check a little bit you know just more to enhance the process you should uh, make the one element of the left and the one element on the right a little bit darker than the one in the middle it will pop it will fit more into 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 the environment Oops. maybe that was too much but no I think they look better now so what you do now is duplicate the same layer and press the V key on your keyboard to activate the move tool and by clicking shift and dragging down you will make them sym symmetrically and the final stage is um, it's here uh, it's uh, at the stone at the rock so let's go once again to the shadow we can add a little bit of shadow in here just a little bit to enhance the process load it as a selection press the G key to activate the gradient and oops well since we changed the the color in here it flipped also uh, that's not too bad and probably a little bit in here too ingredient and sweet go to the rock layer activate the dodge and burn now we can burn a little bit more so it this area will pop in here it will make it lighter maybe we can try and lower the exposure so it won't you know pop too fast okay something like like in here pop it pop it darken it a little bit don't worry that you're going to make a mistake it's it's not a big deal okay sweet or maybe you know it's just at this area it will pop it up a little bit too okay okay yeah it did so burn beneath it to make it more contrasty okay and this is how you have so now we have uh, the rocky uh, ground that holds the totem and the metal part in here and the wooden part in here you know you can you can even uh, add some more details to this I uh, you can see like on this one in here I added uh, some uh, you know some uh, fire but uh, it's it doesn't look realistic because you know if if we add fire on the top it will burn the whole part of the wood so it looks nice but um, it's not realistic when in here it uh, without it, it it looks better you can you know later on you can uh, pick uh, the metal and maybe if you like you can even add some more brightness you know uh, 
dodging and burning a little bit more it's it's a personal choice you don't have to if you don't feel comfortable don't do it I can just add a couple of you know parts that look shinier okay it's not nothing it's not special but it, it looks better and uh, the last thing we can do is create a new layer and name it background uh, click the gradient and press create a gradient but make it a little bit lighter it will pop it a little bit more you know so maybe let's a little bit even darker okay and try once again okay maybe better maybe not depends on your choice whatever you like it and uh, this is another step that I do. I create a new layer on top of the background and activate the brush. And you know, just s I s make it smaller so it won't pop too fast. And start drawing. As you can see, what this do is gives a more finesse. It gives a shadow to to the ground. And by adding a little bit more darkness in here, it will pop even more. maybe choose even more darker color okay now we're getting you know it, it gives kind of a finesse down at the bottom if you feel that it's too much you know just go with the brush tool and simply try to you know just erase a couple of parts it, technically not erasing it you know it will make it kind of a softer you know. and that's it if you like you can uh, add a fire in here to make it more you know pop look good if if not maybe you can even add some colors in here and that's fine you know but uh you know it's it's personal choice so you can try whatever you like and um it if it fits your design that stay it this way if not enhance it more i uh, encourage you to do that and the last thing i wanted to say is uh thank you for watching and um visiting protizen once again my name is uh, ile bogdanowski and uh see you next time